Hey guys, Joe here, Jabel Koi Center. Today, I'm going to discuss how to identify different types of koi fish. Uh, guys, it's very hard to identify uh, all the types of koi fish, especially if you're a newbie, since as you can see, there are 100 different types of koi. So there are tricks also, there are three tips for you to easily identify by looking at their colors, patterns, and body conformation. Uh, conformation meaning yung kanang yang purma sa lawas, guys. Uh, for example, this one, A, B, C, D. Uh, For example, A, ilan mo siya siya nga breed din yung forma. You can identify by, if you notice guy, your, guys, your koi fish, if you look at their body conformation, uh, hope you notice it. Try to look at it guys. Sometimes there, there are uh, there's uh, body formalities like this, elongated, and there are a big hump, or large bodies. There's also like this and this. So, for example, C, natural uncultivated, uh, D, Japanese breed. If you check on your koi fish here. So that's uh, one of ways you can identify its body conformation. And also for the patterns, for example, the this one, the Asagi, have blue net-like pattern. If we take a closer look, uh, in Asagi, blue net-like pattern, uh, the color is bluish, then the uh, pattern is like a net, a fish net, as you can see. So whenever you see a koi fish with this one, a blue net-like pattern, um, I'm sure that is uh, a sage, blue net pattern, then this one. So the pattern also will help you recognize types of koi fish. So there are three ways you can easily recognize by looking at its color, uh, pattern, and body conformation. So let's take a look at the colors. In colors, there are also meanings behind it. So koi fish uh, is developed in Japan, so most of the terms that we are using our Japanese terms. Even though it came from China and was brought to Japan, Japanese uh, developed it to become more beautiful. Nishikikoi. Nishikikoi meaning, I believe it's a flower. So it was developed in Japan. So as you can notice, most of the the, the names that we use in a, in koi fish varieties are Japanese terms. So, for example, red, aka means uh, red background. A good example of aka variety is uh, aka sanke. I'll show you a sanke san. For example, this one aka. The meaning of aka is red background so this is one of one type of sanke there are many types of sanke so this type of sanke have a more dominant uh, red pattern so this is the it's uh, the red of this is aka since the red is the background of the other pattern, pattern like black. 
So the red is the background. So this is Aka Sanke. It's a sang sample of Aka. And then he means red markings. Red markings, for example, of he. Uh, a good example of he is uh, Kohako Street. He Kohako. See the red coloration is dominant street straight red so this is he he means uh, red markings so that's why this type of kohako he kohako or hi i don't know what's the proper pronunciation is called hi kohako because the red uh, pattern is dominant from head to tail region Next is I, A, I, means blue. So a good example, this one, is a uh, Gurumu. Uh, Gurumu is, uh, I Gurumu is like uh, Kohako, but it has a uh, I, blue, bluish color here is in the edge of its a uh, red pattern as you can see here this is bluish on each edge here here as you can see here this is blue i i i so that's why this one is called i gurumu because it has a blue blue coloration uh, around its pattern it, it is the aigurumo pattern also is like kohaku but it has a uh, blue coloration i means blue on its edge of its pattern so this is a good example for i blue uh, benny orange red here it's a red orange background Bini. so a good example is a uh, Benny Goy it's the, uh, show you Benny Goy here So, Benigoy is also a type of Kohako. These are Benigoy. It's a red orange. It, it is uh, darker than orangey. Uh, it, it is red orange. The Benigoy is red orange. Don't be confused of orangey. Orangey is very orange. Unlike Benigoy, it's a uh, red orange here. This is Benigoy. Orangey is orangey is orange. I'll show you a sample of orangey. Orangey koi. See? See the difference? Orangey is orange. So here orangey is orange. And if it's darker, it, it has a, a, a red tint. It's a Benny. Orange-red background. It's a Benny. Benny Goy. So don't be confused of the Benny and orangey. So, Jin or Gin is silver color, metallic. A uh, good example for this type of koi are ginrin. Uh, here, 
Gin Ginrin. Here it's a. There a uh, uh, Ginrin will go uh, come come out to uh, many types of koi fish like this as you can see. Uh, I think maybe this is Goromo, Gin, Gin, Ginrin Goromo, Ginrin Sanke, Gin, Kohaku. So, Ginrin means silver metallic. When you see your uh, koi fish, for example, if your Kohaku, your, uh, your Kohaku, your Showa, your Sanke have uh, metallic cluster, a uh, silver metallic cluster, for example, this one here. This is Ginrin here. This is Ginrin, for example, this one. This is uh, Ucheba. So if you see a uh, gray metallic scales, it's a uh, Ginrin Ucheba. Next is Kin, K I N, it's a gold metallic. I think Kin, it's really a gold metallic. I have Kin Showa here, for example, this one. This is a Kin Showa. See, oh, there it's a golden metallic. I have uh, a live example of this. I, I have uh, breed uh, successfully on this type. It's a showa with golden metallic. So this is a kin showa. This one also a good sample. In person, uh, and in person, you can really see the golden metallic luster of its this type of Showa. It's very rare for us all for now. There are many, a few only who breed that type Kin Showa, Kin Sanki. Actually, I have, uh, I have that type of koi fish I'll show you in my videos with I have my where is it I have a Kinshoa. Where's mine? Ah, uh, this a uh, good sample. This is my Kinshoa. I have a lot of this right here. Hey guys, good morning. Jay here, Jay Bill Koi Center. Uh, and uh, today I'm going to show you my very beautiful uh, five inch. Mm, that's a sample of Kinshawa. Uh, so next is black, the Japanese terms karasu, black background, sumi black marking. So this is. Uh, Karaso, the black background, so all are black. Sample here, Karaso. Karaso Koi. See, it's all black. And Sumi is a term for this one, for example, this one. A small mar black markings, these are called Sumi. Here, usually 
como so me is uh, commonly used if we're going to talk with other coffee shapers they say about sumi sumi location of the sumi etc especially in sanke or in showa so this is example sanke the sumi of sanke is here akasanke this is sanke and for showa also showa the sumi of the showa uh, the sumi is commonly used because in showa there it there should be a sumi on its head and for sanki in order for it to be be beautiful there should be no sumi on its head so that's why sumi is commonly used so black guys remember karasu black background whole black then sumi small black markings only so yellow means ki yellow yamabuki pale yellow so for example yamabuki yamabuki see the yamabuki color is pale pale yellow light yellow while kikoi is very dark yellow i forgot the name usually yellow tsuri then ogun also is very dark yellow ki for example ki otsuri or c very yellow so if it's yamaboki it's pale light yellow so that is the meaning of the difference of ki and yamabuki don't be confused with these two guys next is midori a green koi midori koi midori koi usually is a uh, uh, chagoi here greenish or see midori chagoi there are two types of chagoi brown and green the greenish chagoi is midori chagoi here's a good example so this one guys greenish this is a midori chagoi if it's brown it's brown chagoi uh, next is nizo nizumi gray if you say a gray koi it's nizo let's see if there's a sample nizumi nizumi koi There's no sample. Actually, I have a Nizumi Koi before. I have a video. Nizu Koi. Your Nizu is a gray. It's not a. It's not metallic. It's just a gray Koi. So it's a Nizo, Nizomi. So if orange, orangey, then white, shiro. A good sample of shiro is a uh, Kohako, shiro, shiro muji, shiro muji, Kohako. Here, this is a white kohako. Usually, this is skull. 
sorry, Shiro Moji. And a good also example, Shiro Otsuri. Oh, a white Otsuri. Uh, Shiro Beko. Oh, there. That's a good example. So, guys, just uh, if you forgot what I have uh, teach you, just come back here in my blog, jubelcoycenter.com, types of koi. I put in the link in the description below. So, then check the colors. Just memorize this, guys. The red Japanese color, uh, the color Japanese terms. These are just combine, combine. So, if you memorize this, you can now easily identify koi fish varieties based on these colors and also patterns and body conformity. So, usually, guys, colors and patterns are commonly used to identify classified koi fish varieties. Okay. So, comment down below, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that red bell notification button for you to be updated of my new videos happy weekend to all and stay at home keep safe everyone <coughs> bye for now <laughs> <coughs> 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 <coughs>